Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I wanna highlight an artist, her name is Sylvia, and her full name is Sylvia Jane Hutton, but she actually went just with Sylvia, sort of like Madonna or Cher. Um, now, Sylvia, I've said this before, I consider her the Shania Twain of the early 80s. She was a master of mixing pop music and country music uh, into a, um, you know, a, t a genre or type of music that appealed to the masses. And she had um, a couple big hits. Um, her song, Nobody, released in 1982, hit number 15 on the Billboard charts and number one on the country singles chart. And then uh, in 1982, she also um, was named Female Vocalist of the Year by the Academy of Country Music. So she did make a splash um, and she's actually still recording, but I wanna show you her main, her first five albums. Cause like I said, she is recording still. She has made some later albums, um, but I wanna talk about the classic Sylvia years. Now, her first album came out in 1981. It was called Drifter, all right? Um, and these are all on RCA. And uh, this is what the back cover looks like. And I love the hype sticker here. It says includes the hits Drifter, Tumbleweed, and The Matador. So yeah, if you wanna check out um, a really good song um, by Sylvia, the uh, Drifter is awesome and so is Tumbleweed. Um, this was, um, you know, typical 1981 production. Like I said, a little bit of country, definitely some pop in there. Um, but Sylvia just has this smooth, beautiful voice. And it just, it, it just basically is soothing. It just, you put this record on, you just listen to it and you cannot help but feel good, all right? Then, in 1982, she came out with her album called Just Sylvia. This has the hype sticker on it as well. This includes Sweet Yesterday, the huge hit Nobody, and Like Nothing Ever Happened, which is a beautiful song. Sylvia looking very pretty on the front cover. Again, this is RCA, and this is what the back cover looks like. And if you have never heard the song Nobody, definitely YouTube that and check it out. I mean, it's one of those songs that uh, it's going to get stuck in your head. It's it's such a well-written song, so radio-friendly. I can see why it was a huge hit. But um, I love the song on here, Sweet Yesterday. Um, I like the song Like Nothing Ever Happened. And, uh, you know, just, again, more great music, just soothing, calm, nice mixture of country and pop. So that was 1982, Just Sylvia. I wanted to show you guys, I have it on cassette as well. Yeah. I'm in the Sylvia fan club. Then in 1983, she had another hit album with the album Snapshot. Sylvia, very photogenic. Again on RCA. And this is another song that I would definitely want you guys to check out the song Snapshot. That was a big hit as well. Um, I like the song Bobby's in Vicksburg. Who's Kidding Who? I Never Got Back From Loving You. Produced by Tom Collins. Uh, so 1983 Snapshot. As the years went on, Sylvia started and to get a more of an 80s production, um, you know, she definitely started off more country and as the years and albums progressed, there was more of that 80s pop sound that was embedded into those recordings. But just listening to these, you can just hear hits, 1980 hits, it takes you back to that time. Love it. 1984, she came out with an album, Surprise, and I was reading some stuff about this. She wanted to change her look. She wanted to surprise the audience, not just with her look, but with the instrumentation and the arrangements of the songs. So as I was saying, these get even more poppy on this album, but you can see, look at the, look at the change from Just Sylvia to Surprise. 
you know, definitely going for more of that 80s look. Um, Give Em Rhythm was a hit on this song. I like Victims of Goodbye. Um, I Just Don't Have the Heart is great. So, oh yeah, I, it's still there. Another great song. Sylvia had this, sometimes on the, on the slower songs of the love songs, she had a little bit of an ache in her voice. And what I mean by that is she could really, yeah, sort of pull at your heartstrings with that voice of hers. Another great album. And then the last one in the classic Sylvia years was 1985's One Step Closer. And you can see she has fully developed into that 80s look. Um, you know, a little bit of Madonna in there. And, you know, this was 1985. Again, on RCA. This is what the back cover looks like. And this is another great album. Um, Fallen in Love is great. The hit on here, Cry Just a Little Bit. That's another song you should check out. Sylvia's Cry Just a Little Bit. Now, I also have a couple of her CDs that I wanted to show you. This was her greatest hits. That was released on RCA in 1987. So this has Nobody, Tumbleweed, Drifter, Cry Just a Little Bit, Fallen in Love, Straight From My Heart, Sweet Yesterday, Never My Love. So she does um, the associations Never My Love. And then of course the song Snapshot. This would be a great collection if you're just getting into Sylvia. And then I also have RCA Country Legends, Sylvia. So if, if you want to just dip your toe in the Sea of Sylvia, this would be a good one to start with. And if you want to go in a little bit further and you're not scared of the deepness of the water, check out Sylvia Country um, Legends. This has 16 songs on it, so some more deeper cuts. And then, you know, if you really want to get into Sylvia, which album would I suggest? You know... I love the album Just Sylvia or Snapshot. I would say either of one of these is a really great place to start, okay? Now again, when you listen to Sylvia, you are going to hear a little bit of country. You're gonna hear some pop. You're gonna hear some 80s production. So just get your mind ready for that, but let her sweet voice take over you. All right, so that's my little spiel on Sylvia. Hopefully you guys like it. Comment below. Let me know if you guys know anything about Sylvia. Do you have any of her uh, albums? Do you have any of her later albums? I just showcased the, the classic five first albums. So let me know. All right, have a good night.